stop. I not talk until the live light come. Come in the shop, you come sing for me. Auntie yeah, Dana, we love you. Where said they mean auntie? You have to sing, Maka, you can't sing. No, sir, I'm going to tell you. When you get drunk a shop, get a mother go get a little champagne, no? Get a mother go get a little champagne and come every plank of it. Get a mother. Go get your cup, when you get a little champagne and you cheer it. Pull it there, pull it there. Yeah. 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 A beer. Yeah. Pow. Pop champagne popping. Huh. Champagne popping. Cheers to the man of Papa. I plastic, plastic cup then. Yeah, plastic cup there. Yeah, plastic cup there. Bring plastic cup. First and foremost, I come to tell Father God, thank you. It could not have been done without you. We give you the honor. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. thank you, Jesus. Uno said thank you, Jesus. Champagne popping. Rap, bop, bop. Champagne popping. I'm going to remember the banics down there now. Go normal. Hey, stop it, guys, and keep your mouth quiet. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Marga, man, you have to toast me. I pray you for sing tonight. Hey, stop it, guys, Marga, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Everybody, I feel like I'm going to shut my mouth. All right. Champagne popping. I pay a fridge liver 99, you know. I'm going to have a big mouth. I'm going to have a big mouth. Champagne popping. Hey, champagne popping. Come, ice. Janai, ice. Ice, ice, ice. All right, Mark, I toast. This is a too big man, Janai. Are you Javi Tigua? Hold on. Where are you going? I'm going to sit down the lights. Hold on. Janai, where are you going? I'm going to go here. It's only a little piece there. All right. Okay. All right. Champion popping. Come, sh Maga man, you know one on. Jana, I give Maga man a cup. Cheers to the, cheers to the. Take a big ice. All right, right. we are, we set up the first yeah, cheers. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, all it. Come, come it's cheer it in. I make we say cheers. cheers. Only planka over here tonight. Yes. All right, put it in. Cheers to the man up above. Yeah. Come, come. I mean, cheers to the most high. Huh? Cheers to God himself. Cheers well, to the I Planka to Nation. Out, we stand up like the Rock of Gibraltar. Cheers to the Planka Nation. Send call all of them. We don't like up the live meantime. Because we have a whole heap of Planka. Right in uh, IG. Well, no. Bench and cheer. No, yes, IG of the country. Cheers to one auntie. Bench and cheer. Bench and cheer. 99 no good again. Long time we no do a live over IG. Let me turn my camera up on me. Then I'm going a phone stand. Cheers. Cheers to the good life. Hold on, no maga, man. Let me put up my next phone. I live over IG. Like up the live. Champagne popping. What slim face. Cheers in the ante. Cheers. No, we don't start drinking yet. Pop. Make IG come pop up. Yes. Pop Champagne popping. Pop hey, 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 hey. Champagne popping. Blanca shop make me hear you say, yeah, yeah. Good evening, IG. I can't celebrate the whole album without the whole album there, yeah? First and foremost, I want to give the man up above. Father God, thanks. For watching over me, guiding me, protecting me, and yeah. using me to be a blessing unto others. Yeah. This evening yeah. we get yeah. God the other, the glory for giving me health and strength yeah. and a blessed yeah. mouth. Yeah. And again, on behalf of the Planka Nation, yeah. we want to tell the Planka Nation, thank you all so much. We could not have done it without yeah. you. Yeah. Yuri and get him visa. We say Canada here, Yuri and come. Hey, teaching you my cooking skill. Then I need big up a Canadian embassy. Mm -hmm. Urian, on a cheap. Let me call. Lord God, don't depart. Let me need a phone there. Let me, me, me call Urian. Let me call Urian. Go feed them. Let me call Urian. Visa land. School ready. School fee here. All right, planka shop. Yes, in fine style. This one me there. To them me there somewhere. And the man of you ask me so I will make me a rejoice. So, me a fear, me just a shout. Me just a tell God thanks. You see how fast Urian on his way to North. Wait, <laughs> North. 
I'm not going to. Yeah, the university. Okay. Well, Jana, you know, so my next. Jana, look at my handbag. On a cheers for your. Let me ask you, I'm going to call you Eureka. Urian. Urian got his visa, Northwest. Our North Quest. Cheers to the mother flipping world. Cheers. I don't want to drink too much sweet. Plank and yes, and this is our moment, our time. IG, thank you so much. Let me add Urian on the IG. Let yeah. me mm -hmm. call him, let me yeah. tip in and call Urian on the IG. Yeah. Make IG see him. All right, hold on there. Yeah, oh, I'm going to call Urian on this. Yeah, what go on? You get fat, sir. Yeah, what a good life. You come in I town, yeah. Why are we there for a celebration? Move me and my plank of them. We don't want nothing else tonight. Yeah. Visa come through. The devil is a liar. Yeah. Them try everything to stop the local boy. But God said, when God say yes, nobody can say no. Make me call. Plank of nation a full time, you know, we know. A we say time. A we say Dana Marie go to the flipping world. A we say Planka Nation. If you not. Eh? Well, and then I make me find my phone. Yes. Oh, you ready? You know, so I shouldn't come on the phone up on the live, but I have to make IG know. IG, give me a little time there for call you in. Champagne popping. Bop, bop, bop. Mr. Planka? From the end of the road, you know. Walk one tanker. No, I'm not joking. That's not like I'm in it. Let me call you, you know. Right, you know, up on the live. Thank you so much, Cedar Jones. Thank you so much. I owe time this. Thanks for the super chat. Thank you, God. Yeah, Walker man, come sing, no? I want a tune. Uh, Hold on, let me get you in. I don't know who this is calling me from private. Let me get you in first. Champion popping. Champion popping. Yes, yeah, send up the stars, them. Send up the love. Send up the likes. Yes, can you hear that? And it comes through quick, you know? Quick express. La 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 Make the two here. Me can't make your company no, IG. I'm in the bathroom, man. Here, keep up your kid. Tell them the good news. <laughs> yes, man. It's here. It's here. It's London. It's London. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> boss. It's fancy. Whoa, you're in. Your I'm going to join you soon. I'm in the bathroom. You're going to join you soon. Man. All right. Go on. Go be there for your kid. Your car up in a one towel, Yuri, and this is a moment I'm excited like I just give birth. Alright, give me like two minutes. Alright, uh, but you know I'm going to come live, man. Alright, it might be a thing. Miss Lothian, I see you over IG. IG, good evening. Remember, Bannix West Indian store until another day this week. Thank you, so I am all kitchens. Blanca shop, my up here. I feel like I give birth. I feel like my baby born. I feel like when I go to the hospital. If you have my baby, I don't send call Pinky there. Pinky, come here. Come here, Pink Wall. You really get him visa. Yeah! Not quest. No good again. Two years with a school fee. Almost be a fool. Whoa! Blanca shop. You don't call me. Call me, come call me. You don't you know, call me. No. I don't have my right sense. You know, you know, my tipsy seat. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Hey, go to hey, hey, IG, hey, IG, see what that money peer. Yeah, man, Ma yeah, visa come, hey, visa, Kelly and Embassy love you. Thank you so much. After so much controversy, God came through. Yes, 30,000 Kenyan peer to North Quest College, and Yuri and get him visa. Yuri and sit on pan in British visa. More on the plank of them calling. My nice clean plank of them calling over here. All of the TVJ, all of the star, all of the gleaner, all of who hear it first before me. Rose Kitchen and Vlogs. Everybody were doing it. Big up on a nice, nice clean self. Yes. Big up on yourself. Yes. Good evening. Let me talk up there. Thank you. 
We didn't have a fight with dog. We didn't have a fight with dog. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, bro. Oh, go on. Yo, dread. <laughs> Oh, I no, so they are foreign. That's cool, they are foreign, bro. That's cool, man, bro. Oh, so they are. I like. But this It's the first day we're coming into the office. First day in the country, actually. Oh, well, <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. Jamaica. Nice. Yeah. Well, at least you didn't come in the middle of winter. So <laughs> right. It might you not know. Be as <laughs> hey, guys. So we are back. The bus comes in about three minutes. And I need to run to catch it. If I don't run to catch it, I'm going to miss it. And I won't get another until 9.42. Ah, so we're gonna run. Hey, oh boy, I'm not fit enough, you know, but I have to catch it. So let's run. Ooh. Ooh. Boy. Boy. Ooh. Boy. It's now 9 or 10, well, 9 10 rather. Well, since you're in two minutes. Ah. Oh, I can't get anymore. I can't get anymore. Oh my God. Ooh. Oh. Boss. Don't let me. Boy. Jesus. Didn't watch the boss. Oh God. No. Oh. Come on. Come on. What's happening? Come on, come on guys. The boss go with me. I've never just do so many work. Oh my God. Oh, the boss go with me. Oh my God. Oh. 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 That's gonna be one to remember. Oh, oh my God. Jenna. Whew. Whew. Oh my god. So 9.42 one is gonna be. Which means yeah, I'm gonna reach school by 10.40. 20 minutes before class. I mean that's alright, but I wanted to catch some you know small clips of the school before I start class, but that can be done after after class. Man, that was so disappointing seeing the bus pass me like that. Ah. Anyways, guys, see you when we're on the next bus, alright? See you soon. Hey guys, so it's 9.42 and the bus is now coming. Yeah, here we go. So, we use... Alright guys, so this is my next bus. This is gonna take me straight to school. Um well with an 11 minute walk, but um there's an option to take a bus 
<laughs> that's gonna bring me closer to school, so I might just do that. So let's see. And so I'm on one of the big buses, like <laughs> this one is the way that's on stairs. Yeah, like you gotta go just like up the stairs. I never knew, like, I never knew this was the bus. <laughs> I never knew. I never knew this was the bus, man. This is cool. Wow. Well. <laughs> oh, wow. This is different. Can you even see from here? Can I zoom in? Try to get to the front to show you guys. Yeah, that is it. <laughs> so yeah, we are now on our way to school. This is gonna carry me straight to school. And I just crossed the road and I'm at school. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is different, guys. Let me take a, a nice picture. So let me not get too carried away. I need to get back to my Google Maps <laughs> because I need to know exactly where to come up. But I don't think I reach it any as no, I don't think I should reach it. nowhere close to school as yet. It's now 10:27 here. All right, so I should reach in the next 10 to 15 minutes at about 10:45. I'm gonna be 15 minutes early. Hopefully, I can get some clips, but um, those clips will be me finding my class, <laughs> right? So um, yeah, and then after class now, I will maybe do a separate video in explaining how the class experience was like, you know, and keep this one as a journey to school, you know, so yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, like, um, for all the, you know, students in Jamaica that would, you know, wish to study overseas, it might be very challenging, you know, finding the finances, but, um, you know, once you want it and you're determined to get it, you know, go ahead and, you know, try all possible solutions to get here. You know, try all possible solutions because I'm telling you, you know, regardless, um, um, I know outside of, um, you know, coming here to study, there is so much to experience, a uh, different climate, different people, and you know, the people are really nice, <laughs> you're really easy to talk to, you know, and the city is <laughs> beautiful, man, I'm telling you. It's so much different. It's a different culture, man. Yeah, it's so much to experience here. Wow, I just enjoy the view from here. <laughs> wow, man. Look at that. This is a different view. Wow. Well, See the 
you can't get to the middle one again. Hold on. Is it showing? Okay, there we go. I've seen it. So, guys, um, also remember to like, share, and subscribe, of course. <sighs> so, yeah, my first day at Norquest College, my first day of starting my educational journey as an international student. Oh, well, that's gonna be interesting. I mean, it's, it's like I said, I've already been interesting, you know. Just you know, hashtag big up the Panka Nation, hashtag big up Auntie D, you know, Mother Donna, you know, that's mommy man, yeah. So, you know, hashtag big up Panka Nation, that's what I mean. So, we're crossing the bridge now to go over into downtown, yeah. Here we go. I don't know my way from here, right? So what I'm gonna do now is to cut the recording and the next time you guys should be seeing me is when I'm probably off the bus or at school, all right? So see you guys soon. I'm gonna go to my Google Maps now before I get lost. <laughs> So we moving. Uh, let me just check if I had put back my bus pass. Yes, I did. All right. So one thing I learned about up here is like if the road clear, like if it's clear, like right now when I, I could just run across, I can't do that here like in Jamaica. I might get a ticket, <laughs> and that's sad. But um, yeah, rules. <sighs> so we have to wait until we get to go ahead to cross like now. Yeah, we are at school. Oh, it's, it's the building across the road. I don't want that you're looking at it right now. So I'm gonna be crossing the next road when I go down to that side. Yeah, that's school. First day of class. 
<laughs> oh no, I'm gonna miss this one. Ouch. I think it's hurting me, man. Right. So one more crossing to do. One more crossing to do. And then we'll reach at the Northwest College. Alright guys, when I'm in the school I'm gonna let you all know. Hey guys, so I made it to school and it's now time to find my class. That's probably gonna be a hard one. Hold on. So I'm in the school and it's time to ask questions. Hey, um, pleasant morning. Uh, where can I find the Sigma Learning Center? That's 3062? Yes, it's uh, this building. So if you take left, mm -hmm. you go to the elevator, take the third floor. Third floor. And uh, what is the number? 3062. Yeah. yeah. So 62 R. Third floor. Thank you so much. Alright, guys, so we're going by the elevator, the left, third floor. And yeah, 062. Uh, there is a place. There's a bit. Won't stop for too long because I gotta find a class first. So, yeah, let me go find class. Alright, so elevators on the left. I'm guessing the elevators will be uh, here. Okay. Okay, this is the elevator. Here's yes, a fire, do not use elevator, use stairs. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go in the elevator. For the elevator. All right, so we are in, and we're going to the, to the third floor. Yeah. So we gonna try to find all six two. That's on the third floor, and that should be where my class is. Yeah, third floor. All right, so. Oh, it's that way. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my god. I was expecting it to be pulled from the front. <laughs> nice to meet you, man. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. So, it actually pulled from the back, guys. Um, So. This sign here is actually looking at airport charts, so uh, 062. Oh man, the long for um, 062. All right, oh, okay. Oh, here is 062, guys. So, yeah, um, I think I'm on, I'm at my class right now, so I'm gonna end the camera. Hey guys, so um, today we're gonna be going to work, right? I'm gonna show you guys where my work area is and you know, a, a little bit of what I do at work. So this right here is me on my way to work. It's about a 50 minute uh, bicycle ride from my, where I live, right? So yeah, um, I think I'm all, I'm, I'm always, you know, I wouldn't say in a rush but like you know wanting to reach on time and sometimes I would underestimate the distance because it's, it's it just seems so short so I would leave out like 10 minutes before my, my shift starts and then you know in my head I'm like oh I'm gonna be late but you know I'm always early so yeah so that's the road so go to work um I think on this day I had like a 
four hour shift i believe it was a four hour shift but yeah it was good you know um it was really good so yeah so this is where i work it's valley village it's like a thrift store you know they receive donations from persons and yeah you know um they pack them out and you know have them on sale for very reasonable prices as well so yeah this is the clothing area we got all different kind of areas in the building for example you can see over here they have uh, books and all that yeah mm -hmm. and um this is in the production room where they like priced items you know and yeah group them together um yeah so i'm actually gonna be going in like the the break room that's our lockers to keep our personal items and yeah that's our break room you know you know that's also where we clock in and clock out as well all right so a bit of my job duty so i wasn't able to show you guys while i was you know actually at work doing work well this is still work but you know this was closing off you know so i was able to show you guys this side of work and what i do here as you can see in the video is pretty much uh take up all the items that were outside so i'm pretty much taking up the pylons now and put them in the bin all right um this is like the drive through where the donors would come right and when they go over that rope that you see going across it's on the ground when they when they go over that rope it would make like a bell sound and it would signify the workers you know like myself that someone is here to donate you know so yeah i pretty much take up the cones right like all of them you know that gets heavy after a while as well like it gets really heavy <laughs> Honestly, that gets so heavy sometimes, especially when you're close to finish, like now. Yeah, so I have to pretty much be, you know, dragging it. So yeah, take up the cones, and then of course I'm gonna come back and take up the signs as well. Right, these signs are light. Well, are they? Yeah, they are light. They ain't heavy. Very light. Um, yeah, here's a picture of me at work. <laughs> yeah here's a picture for you guys you guys can see that one also this this here th this is when i was closing off as well right this was hard <laughs> this was hard i was struggling but yeah i got it done though i got it done um but not completed them because it was stuck on like the sign so i had to pretty much try to lift it back out from underneath the sign and I think I almost uh, cut my finger because the sign was sharp. But yeah, we got it done. You were successful. Okay, another part of work. So um, like at the, almost at the end of my shift, you know, you have persons who buy uh, furnitures, right? So as a CDC officer, it's our responsibility to ensure that you know. Well, upon the customer requests that um if they want their furniture to be wiped off you know you would get that done for them but yeah that's actually that's actually all right i mean we do this every sunday in jamaica <laughs> you know we wipe the finger every sunday you know so that's nothing yeah work is nice work is nice um so yeah i was the only one there at this time so i have to do you know all that as well as closing off where I count up, you know, all the donations that we have um, received throughout the day, you know, so that's me doing it right there. Pretty much counting up everything. I think on average we got like 50 something donations, right, throughout the day. Yeah, 50, that's a lot of donations. Sometimes we even get a lot more, like, sometimes we even get 100 and something donations. And the person's donating what they don't want anymore. So yeah. <laughs> Give a thumbs up. 
you know, this is my first time doing this, you know, like the closing off. I've never done this. It's my second week on the job. And I think I did great. Yeah. I did really, really. I was proud of myself. I was very proud to see that I was able to manage, you know, and move around without even asking anyone for help. You know, so, yeah, I was being productive. <laughs> okay. Still coming off and showing that everything is good. So I never wanted to make any mistake, you know. So I grabbed the calculator <laughs> because you know, you know that thought in your head that okay, do you know that uh, this is the answer? You just want to be sure, so you get the calculator. <laughs> yeah, that's what I've been there. I was like, nah, I'm not gonna make a, a mistake on my first, on my first closing off. You know, want to get it right, want to get it right. So yeah double check and yeah all was well so now that was the last part of the closing off um if you look this is the end result all the cabins inside the signs you know everything was back to well and the last thing that i needed to do before i head out was to turn off well lock the door and turn off the air condition you know so that was the last thing that was needed and yeah i head out clock out head out and uh, that's my bike there which i chained up and i heard they might you know probably want the thief i heard that's that's one thing they do in canada thief bikes a lot <laughs> so i'm gonna probably have to ask my manager to see if i can put it in the store somewhere you know so yeah um that was me getting ready to leave work after was it a four or five hours not sure but yeah Getting ready to leave. And then, yeah, we heading out. Goodbye, Valley Village. See you next time. See you next time. Okay, so this was pretty much me cruising down, you know, going home. It's, it's like a downhill, so, like, don't really have to do much. Unlike when I'm coming to work, I have to be exhausting everything. You know, I'd completed my midterm one. You know, that was, that was a lot. You know, the workload was a lot. You know, all the other situational factors like, you know, going to work and having to balance everything and, you know, with studying and is a lot. But, you know, we were successful. We were very much successful. And I'm proud. Like, I exceeded my expectations, right? I mean, like, I know I had it within me to, like, you know execute well but you know with all the pressure that i undergo and you know it was just so much you know that i never thought i would have did, did as well as it you know the results are showing now but i must say i have done well so yeah um where should i get started let's get started with <laughs> not just necessarily bad news but like the lowest grade right uh, that was in my finance course where I got an 80%, which is pretty good, actually. <laughs> you know what I mean? Come on, it's finance. The class average for that was uh, 53, right? And, you know, having received an 80, that was really good when compared to the overall average. You know, so that was amazing. I was a bit disappointed, honestly, because I don't know, right? But I tend to get the uh harder questions correct and then the easier questions incorrect and i was so mad because you know like those are like common sense common sense questions when i did the revision i'm so sorry i don't have the paper right now to show you guys because you know the school policy is that we we shouldn't be able to like receive the hard copy of the paper right so yeah i don't have the paper to like show you guys and explain it so i just can talk based on you know my memory and what i saw in the paper you know so yes it wasn't bad honestly like the harder questions the next questions i expected to like okay you know um, I was if and but about those are the questions that I got complete marks and then I'll drop marks on the easier question. I was like, oh, but 
you know, that was, you know, Itra Finance and 80%, not bad, you know, exceeded the benchmark of 75% because that's where I said it. So like I have a benchmark percent for different courses where I set, you know, like something that I would be satisfied with. And if I go over that benchmark, then that's great. And as I've seen it, I exceeded that benchmark by 5%. You know, that was really good. I mean, the workload is not nice. You know, I mean, there is a lot of analyzing of data, you know, regrouping data, structure. It's, 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 it's a lot. I mean, it's finance, you know. So, yeah, that's it for the first one. Um, that was also the lowest grade, you know, I received from my midterms. And then the next one, which I'm extremely proud of myself because that's like my lowest point i think i said this in my previous video microeconomics oh my god that's my lowest point i don't know like um i had to you know had my lecturer did a one -on one with me whereas we set a scheduled time where we would meet together and you know go over the materials again and again and again and again and again big up to my lecturers that's one thing about narcos we have really good lecturers here Thank you so much. That's really good. Yes, yeah, so I had my lecturer, right? He and I, you know, we went over materials before the examinations. And I'm going to do that also for my upcoming midterms. The same thing as well. You know, went over materials over and over and over. You know, it was just, like, economics was just, it was like, I don't know how to explain, but it was just so much, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't the easiest. You know what? I came up with an 82. That was really good. Considering the class average was 59 point something or 58. I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly. But yeah, I came up with an 82. And you know, I mean, I was so pleased because even doing the exam, even I was doing the exam, I wasn't certain of getting a high grade, you know, but I did. And, you know, I'm definitely grateful for that. So, yeah. That was it for economics. That was crazy. And I'm hoping that, you know, going into the second midterm, which is only three weeks from now. Can you imagine, guys? I came here, uh, started school May 8th, right? And then by the first week of July, we had midterms. Come on. Not July, June. We had midterms, right? Got the results back pretty much the end, end of June. Now it's uh, July. Uh, I'm not sure, but just... This, this this result that I got today should have been given to us in June, but you know the teacher had a bit of complications, which was understandable, and yeah, that extended to July, right? So in, in conclusion, yeah, we got my last results in July, and then three weeks from now, guys, second set of midterms, same thing over and over, but you know, we always prepare this, so yeah going with positive thoughts prayers and you know ready for it so yeah um where what where was i now micro um economics 82 the next thing that this this is the result i got today which i'm going to show on the screen right now how much writing we had to did it was a hundred questions well a hundred marks not a hundred questions but hundred marks and hundred marks comprised of 40 multiple choices and 60 uh marks in short written answers and let me tell you guys, I don't know how I still have these. <laughs> I don't know how I still have these because I, you know, having to write so much in such a short space of time, I believe if you see on the paper right now, it's what? It was it two hours? I'm not sure. I think it, I don't, I don't even think it was two hours. I think it was an hour and something. And I've been to write so much in such short space of time. That was crazy. But well, here's the good news. I taught the class in that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, for for that exam, I taught the class. The average was 51, right? Yeah, the average was 51, right? A lot of person got, you know, really, really bad grades. I was like, wow. You know, but yeah, I taught the class 87.5, as you can see, which is extremely good. You know, I mean, it was not like um it's, it's more theory based so it was a lot of reading four chapters one chapter is a lot so you can imagine one times four like it was oh, i was like i think i even showed this one on my previous video how much it was having to go over all those four chapters memorizing them for this exam i got sick 
yes i got sick because on the day i came to school i'm not sure what happened i think my brain froze it's like i started forgetting information before the exam i like there was so much information packed inside this little brain uh, that i started forgetting the information and like i had to do a hard revise what i mean by a hard revise is that i had to rush back through all four chapters and like skim 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 you know and i mean not a hundred percent of knowledge came back to my head but i got majority and the way how i executed on the paper i would think it's more of common sense the way how i executed because if i should tell you that i read and like if I should like read word for word from the textbook and and that's what I put on the paper, I can tell you that's not what I did. I had to like, you know, put here and there pieces in my brain that I remember, make it make sense, you know, and execute it. So yeah, I did that. I did it well. Um, 87.5 out of 100 marks. That was amazing. I mean, come on, it's 87.5 marks out of 100. I only lost like, 12 marks out of 100 well 12.5 but yeah you know that's gonna round up to 88 so yeah you know i only lost like come on 12 marks that's that out of 100 marks that's that's, that's really good you know so yeah that was it for ob i topped it with the 87.5 the second place came in with an 86.5 that was close yeah you came close 86.5 the third place was an 84 right and then um the others were just in 70s so you know that was that was wow and for the highest grade come on you know it's accounting yeah it's accounting i mean i need to do a video on that as well because um from a major i'm currently enrolled in management but i still have time to like switch my major to like either accounting human resource um finance or entrepreneurship which i'm not going to do entrepreneurship so it will either have to be something between finance accounting and uh human resource aside from the management as i'm currently enrolled in so i'm trying to figure out which one should i do you know like give me advice like which one is more marketable i mean i'm not scared of any uh major i know that some might be challenging than others but like i'm open you know so yeah accounting right that's something that i've been brainstorming as I mentioned in my previous video, I did get a 90% in that. That exam was, you know, I would say because I have prior knowledge in accounting, you know, doing it in CXC, in CXC, getting a grade one, you know, getting A's. I mean, it's something that is naturally built within me. But like, um, whenever I'm studying accounting, I have to like be prepared mentally for accounts, right? I have to be, pre be prepared mentally and like love it regardless of the, the, the challenge that it's gonna come in because accounting, oh my God. If you studied accounting before, you know that's okay. If you mess up one figure throughout the entire statement or whatever you're doing, then everything is gonna just be incorrect. And then you're gonna have to step by step, go back through to see where you made a mistake and then recalculate and see if it balances. If not, do the same thing again until it balances. And even when it balances, it still might not be correct right <laughs> yeah so i mean accounting was it was all right i did my thing you know i went in stayed prayed up you know and executed well i mean i think the key to passing the exams is really execution right it's not like how much you know but like how much you can actually present on the paper because i could know that um i could know that i i could have the world of knowledge but then in trying to explain that knowledge inside my head on paper, it doesn't make sense. And then, you know, I won't get any marks for that, right? So I would just say that execution is the best thing when doing an examination, execution. Like, for example, my OB exam, as I said, my brain froze. I lost most of my knowledge right before the exam. And all I could do was just went into exam, went into the exam, execute. Um, I had to like, Improvise, that's the word. Improvise, yeah. It's the good news, you know, we're gonna go into the good news. 
you know but let's get more persons here you know get a like like up the live and let's get more persons over so that we can start you know and yeah let's 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 get into it because i have the keys <laughs> i got the keys guys <laughs> oh my god ah oh, it's been it's been a roller coaster man but yeah mm -hmm. it does get better each and every day you know it does get better you know it really does you know so yeah do like up the live guys you know do like up the live um, we, I'm gonna take you guys around the place and you know, show you guys around the place. So stay tuned, you know. Stay tuned, guys. Yes, man. Stay tuned, definitely. Hold on, let me see what's going on here. Stay tuned. Hold on. Uh, sorry for the noise that you just heard. Sorry for my bad. The like of the live. Let's get to 200 likes, and then from 200 likes, we're gonna go and you know start with the showcase. Let me see how many person that I have. So I have what? Okay, I, I got uh, about 16% on my phone. Hey everyone, good night to those who are just joining. Thank you so much for being here. I know you, you, your time is precious and to you know, be here with me tonight to celebrate another milestone. It's really appreciated, you know. So yeah, you know, we're celebrating each milestone, guys, because I mean, you know, um, it hasn't been, you know, easy. You know, you know, like trying to, 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 to get a better quality of life, you know, while you're here and having to like balance other, you know, things outside of that, you know. So yeah, it took lots of research. It took lots of research. And that's something that international students should be aware of. There's lots of scammers in Canada. I, I never knew there were so many scammers in Canada. <laughs> Guys, I never knew. <laughs> And, and 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 it's like it's like they, they, they don't even know how to you know like like they don't even know how to um they don't know how to even scam properly i'm like huh like this is obviously evidently to scam you get me so i'm like wow so yeah that's another thing that i'm gonna speak on right you know oh my god so yes guys so we had, had we oh, okay so i actually reached 200 never saw that so yeah uh, where should I start? So whoever has been here from the start, you guys know, you know, you guys saw the videos or the bus would have missed me and I would have reached home late in the night, like extremely late. You guys know, right? Everyone knows, you know, but regardless, you know, I mean, we're going to, how much is the rent? We're going to get into all that, you know, this information. Is not you know just for you guys to know but also for like other students who might be watching on this live to know you know some of the ways to get around a high cost of living because where am i right now which we're gonna get into all the details i'm telling you guys i, I feel blessed because not many persons are able to like capture a good deal like this like this is a nice deal right and i'm gonna get into all those details right but we're gonna start from the very basic we have about 400 persons here you know so yeah all right so let's start you know as i said you guys know you guys know that where i was was extremely far from college you guys saw the video how i had to run to catch the bus you know how far buses the bus stop is from home you know to walk to the bus stop in the morning to get back home it's it's it was crazy um in the process of all that you know i keep i still kept my cool you get me i never really complained much i know it was a factor but you know certain factors are gonna come in life where you can't dwell on because if you dwell on then the more important factors will kind of fade away and you're gonna dwell on the factors that are not really you know important at the moment so yeah i never really complained too much I mean, I know it was there, but, you know, I, I just had to, you know, look on the brighter, look on what's ahead, you know, and yeah, that's, 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 that's what I had to do. So finally, oh, thank you so much for the super chat, AG. So finally, you know, um, I need to stop. Okay. 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 One minute. Yeah. So finally, you know, I pretty much did my research in the midst of all I had going on, 
right? I pretty much found some time. I don't know how I found to, I found time to actually do research, you know, throughout my research. For those, I said I saw someone in comments saying that they want to study in Edmonton. Throughout my research, be aware of scammers, guys. I never knew there were so many scammers here. Like there's a lot of scammers, but it's good that. I have sense, you know, I have some sense to like pick up on it to see, okay, this, this is evidently a scam, you know, and it's, it's like the persons were saying, um, they won't allow me to view the place unless I pay a deposit. So like they're saying, okay, pay a deposit before you can come to view the place. Like, come on, are you serious? Are you, the, guys, upon research, you're, by law, you're not supposed to pay deposit until you're signing a lease agreement, right? And through signing a lease agreement, you should have an ID of the person who is who you're signing the lease, and they should give you ample time to go over the lease, right? To see that everything is in standard. To see that, okay, the deposit that you're going to pay is on the lease. To see that the monthly rent is on the lease. Signatures are on the lease right and to see that the name of the landlord you have an id copy of the landlord right so like those were certain things you know like you know upon research you see that okay those by law you should have these i was like how do this per how does this person want me to, to to pay deposit without even seeing the place i haven't seen the places yet only thing i saw is pictures right i could that pictures could come from anywhere pictures could be from and i could just take a picture of my house or, or somewhere off the, off the internet you know pictures could come off the internet and you know they could just post it i was like no 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 right so when i asked the person the question and the, the funny thing is guys it wasn't even only one person it was more than one person that did the same thing you know and they so they, they, they sounded so intelligent you would believe, you would fall that for it to say that this is a legitimate company because the way how they articulate themselves, the way how they present themselves, right? You're like, you know, it's legit. But then, you know, by law, certain things are just not right. You know, so anyways, I had to do my research. I had to calm down, <laughs> you know. I mean, you know, we are Jamaicans. Thank you a lot, Miss Mortley. You know, we are Jamaicans, you know, and... You know, Jamaicans are very skeptic when it comes on to when our money should be distributed, right? You know, our, we are very skeptic. So I had to say hello. No, 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 no. I'm not paying for anything I don't see. I don't see a legal document, right? If, if, if anything, and, and I should even want to report it to the police afterwards. I won't have anything to show that, okay, that's what happened. Remember, you know, remember, you know, courts... You need to have some type of writing to bring to court, you know? They don't really go with the hearsay, right? They can't bring hearsay out of court. <laughs> you get me? So yeah, I did that, you know. I found uh, a place, you know, I mean, after researches, I found a reasonable place. There were other places on the internet, you know, where I'm telling you, the places were skyrocket high. The places were so expensive, you know? So, um, yeah, you know, it was a bit tedious. Um, as I said, you know, when living in downtown, the best thing to do is share with a roommate, right? So, um, and the good thing is that, you know, the person who I will be sharing with, it's, they are also going to university, so you know, and they're also young as well, so you know that it won't be much of a, a conflict or, or any type of problem because you know they are going to school i am going to school you know we are pretty much living in the same life you know we are similar ages so that's good you know i, I spoke to the person already you know they are seem like a pretty cool guy and yeah it's really it's, it's it's really good you know in terms of that so yeah my roommate is really nice um what else uh, okay so we, we're gonna go into in, interviewing the place soon and i have a nice thing i want to show you guys I want to show you guys how close it is to school and this is the big this was the big factor in choosing here how close it is to my school guys look at it guys let's do the maths right it takes me in the daytime an hour and maybe 20 minutes to reach back home that's in the day right now in the night it takes me approximately two hours because you know 
um, buses aren't running as usual, you know, uh, buses, you know, take longer than usual, not many buses are on the route, right? So it takes me approximately two hours to get home now, all right? We, um, two hours to get home, an hour and 20 minutes in the day to get here. So that's like three hours and 20 minutes of transportation daily, right? So from that three hours and 20 minutes, I could use that time to do something productive rather than being on transportation trying to get home. That three hours and 20 minutes is very valuable, right? That could have been put into maybe having even some relaxation time for myself if not maybe could have put into an extra time that I, could, that I could use to study rather than being on the bus going home right so yeah that three hours and 20 minutes will be definitely a lifesaver right especially and guys i'm still not ready for this but for the winter winter i, I heard that winter starts here at october we're gonna have snow coming in at october i was thinking about to myself maybe down in the november december side that's when we're gonna have you know snow coming in but they said october i was like huh october like come on and they were they're like early october so it's, it's not even like closer to um it's not even like it's closer to um november it's early october right okay someone asks i, I don't want to i've seen the question guys i'm gonna ask i'm gonna ask, answer the questions right uh miss Wright. i'm gonna answer the questions let's give me a minute all right Hold on to that question. Uh, let me try to pin it so I don't I, I don't forget it. All right. So yeah. So yes. You know, I was like, come on. If it's so hard to travel to and from in the summer, can you imagine the winter? Because you know, winter is gonna be uh, harder. You're gonna have to be running through the cold, right? You know, it's gonna it's gonna harder to run down the buses because I don't think even think you can even run because. If you run, you can probably slip and hurt yourself. And if you break a leg in winter, can you imagine how bad that is? Breaking a leg in winter. Can't be able to move around winter. That would, that would be so bad. So, you know, that's also a plus, right? Now, yes, man, guys, we're going we're gonna to start blending up some oats, you know. All, all of that going to happen. Now, Miss Wright asked, Is, isn't the job close also? No. The job was close to home, but here's the thing. I don't go to the job five days of the week. I go to school from Monday to Friday, right? I go to the job either three or four days per week. And come in September, I'm going to have to reduce how many days I go to, to, to work to probably like two days because I'm going to be doing more courses come in September. I'm going to do an, an additional course, right? Extra credit. So I'm going to have to reduce those to two days, you know? So um, in the meanwhile, right i'm gonna think about i'm gonna think oh sorry my, my, my phone was on i'm gonna think about um that but the good thing you know being from downtown miss what miss right you know it's 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 much easier to get a bus from here to go straight over to work you know than me to come from home to school right so it's, it's, it's not it's not gonna even be as hard as going straight to work from here because the buses are easily accessible Right, exactly. So someone said the buses are delayed in winter. Uh, let me get my charger because my phone is gonna die. So let me get my charger. One minute, one minute, guys. Let me get my charger. And like up the live. We're at three hundred and four. Thank you so much for three hundred and four. Exactly, uh, guys. I'm not ready for it, guys. I don't know how every day I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys how, how how bad it is in the winter. I can just imagine already because in Jamaica when it was coming down to Christmas time, the little chill that we got. I'm already crying out for cold in Jamaica. So you can imagine here when it hits negative 40, negative 50. You know, so yeah. All right. So we spoke on transportation. We spoke on um, going to and from, you know, the scammers. The scammers in, in Canada. That was, that was unexpected, right? Um, what else? What else do I want to speak on before we start to go around? Um, okay. So the building, right? The building security. security that's what that, that's another thing that that's, another, and that's what i'm saying like when you do research guys right when you do research guys i'm telling you it's really good to do research because when you research you get lots of information that that that, that, that it's like they're hidden information and you just have to do ample research to dig it up 
you know so yeah when you do research guys i'm telling you it is good you can't go wrong with doing your own research like having second on second hand information from someone else that's never the best way to go because something is not going to be accurate so it's just best to um do your own research so i did the research you know and this place i am telling you um the building top-notch security so look at this let me show you guys so this is the key this is the key for the building itself now in order to come inside the building right you have to have one of the keys in order to get inside the building that's the first way you have to go through two doors right that's the first thing you have to go through two doors to get inside the building now when you're inside the building you still can't go anywhere because you're gonna need this to get up the elevator if you don't have this the elevator won't go up so you're gonna have to scan it and then that's when the elevator will go up right so first you're gonna need this key to pass by two doors and then you can also need this to get up through the elevator and even when you get to the elevator you can also have to pass another door which is used with another key and then yeah you have your key for your apartment especially so that's good you know the security is really top-notch you know it's, it's it's really up there um and i have to come and demand that the building also comes the bit oh someone asked a question how close the school i'm gonna show you guys how close it is the school don't worry guys stay around i'm gonna show you guys i don't have to tell you guys right yeah i don't have to tell you guys i'm gonna show you guys how close it is the school so you can imagine how close it is hey you're in does your college require math to get enrolled uh yes you would need math you need math to get enrolled you will need english you will need um five subjects five sixty subjects to get enrolled right um i believe you have to have grades one and two in the subjects and uh i think that was it i think yeah i think let's have grade ones and two in math and english and you'll be able to cut to cut to cut to, to, to get in all right don't lose the key now that's 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 thank you for reminding me i will try my best not to lose these i, I can't lose these yes guys i really can't lose these keys because these are these are like really i think it will be expensive to, re to replace so i'm gonna try my best all right so we, we we talk on the security of the building now what the building comes with it has its own gym the building has its own gym right so um, as tenants we get access to the gym on the building we also have this thing they call a sauna we um john michael okay i have english but not math okay no problem um michael you could you can still try you know you can still try right maybe you could even they could give you uh, a conditional acceptance right uh or, or, or something to say okay you can do the program you can come on through the program but you know you'd have to do this course to you know meet the prerequisite of the maths in order to graduate all right all right um now yeah as I was saying, guys, I'm going to answer the questions very soon, right? I'm going to answer the questions very, very, very soon, all right? So, yeah, um, the building has this thing they call a sauna. So, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's also a good thing that we, we, we have here, you know? So, I'm going to show you guys around the place. Um, yeah, I'm not sure where to start, though. I'm not sure where to start. I'm actually inside the building right now, which I'm going to show you guys. I'm just not sure where to start. Um... Maybe we should start in the kitchen since I'm in the kitchen. Maybe. But hold on. Let me see if there's anything that we can talk about else in like, you know, theory. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me plug in my phone, guys, because my phone is dying. My phone is dying. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad, guys. Let me plug in my phone. And guys, let's get the live, the live to 400 likes. I see 600 of something of us here. You know? Yeah. So, guys, you know, I really hold on yeah sorry about that guys so yeah you know i really just have to give thanks you know i really just have to give thanks you know and you know i've been here what april 18 may 18 june 18 and and july 18 is already gone so three months and and probably a week or so so yeah you know um a lot of the progress i'm making you know i'm just i just i just really hope that you know things go go keep you know moving like this you know passing my classes you know being able to like you know do my research to be knowledgeable about the place you know etc you know you know having information you know like 
you know, keep striving a bit further towards the end goal, you know, so, you know, I just, I, 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 I had a good start, you know, this is the settling semester, this semester, you know, most persons say is the hardest when you're just coming here trying to settle, you know, when you're leaving your family back home, you know, this one is the hardest, you know, because you don't know the place as, 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 you know, good, you know, as, as, as your own home, right? So, you know, apart from school, you're going to have to catch up on all that's going on here. And the only thing, the only thing, yes, and Claudia said it, I might get to work close by as well, so let's see. You know, the only thing I would say is that um, I haven't really had much friends, right? I haven't, I haven't like, that's, that's the only thing. I, it does get lonely at times because, for example, today, that, today I was at college and I was studying for, from 11 to 5, you know, and like I had no friends around, you know, but it's not like it's my, I don't know. You see, because my school is so diverse, which I love, you know, because you get to understand other cultures. But at the same time, you know, trying to make friends can be hard because you don't really understand them. They speak, I don't, I'm not sure what their language is, right? You know, so, um, yeah, I don't really show you guys the room. I'm going to show you guys the room. When I do, um, you will have a more clearer picture of what the room is lacking due to everything being organized right now. Right, so the room is pretty organized right now, which I'm gonna show you guys. So you guys will have a much clearer picture on what else is needed. Right? I don't wanna you know have the room looking jumbled and chucky, so I'm gonna you know um keep it minimized, right? I'm gonna keep it small, keep it simple, not much, you know. Yeah, that's 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 the plan. So let me, um, I see I have about 115 likes, which is amazing. Thank you so much, guys. Um, uh, all right. Let me get the stuff that I got from um, Miss Cohen. All right, let me get the stuff. One, one moment. One second. All right. So these are a few stuff right here. Okay. So what we are seeing here is some sheet sets, right, right here. So I have this gray one, which is going to be looking really good in the bed, right? I could even open it with you guys right now, because I haven't opened them as yet. But um, let's see. Right. See what's inside of them. Um, let me turn this down a bit. All right, so yeah, so it looks really nice. I love the color. It's going to fit the room really well with the light blue that's in there. Yeah, I really love the color. It's, it's going to be really nice. So thank you so much, Miss Cohen. I know Miss Cohen is on the live watching right now. So um, thank you so much for these sheets. So this is one of the sheets, guys. I'm going to take out the other. Well, the others is actually two more. Um, hold on, let me just fold this back in. All right. So, you know, thank you for the sheet. It's really nice. I, I, like, I especially love this one here because this one matches the color of the wall in my room. So, yeah, this is going to be really great, you know. Um, I see, I, I'm seeing here where someone is saying they're not able to hear. Can anyone else hear me very good? Let me know. If not, I'll just adjust uh, the issue. And uh, yeah, I'll wash these ones since I already have spare sheets. I'm going to get these sheets washed and clean. You know, I already have a few spare ones. So yeah, I also have the, oh, what is this? Uh, oh, okay. So this is for pillows. Oh, nice. Okay. So I also have some pillows, pillow cases inside. All right, that's good. Can you guys see pillow cases? Okay, so you guys are hearing. All right, great. All right, uh, amazing. Okay, okay. Okay, so we have some pillow cases as well. If you guys can see. So that's that's really good. That's amazing. Um, I'm not sure what this one is. Oh, so this is the fitted sheet. Yeah, this is a fitted sheet. 
right? Uh, which is nice, yeah, great. Oh, it's actually a complete set. I thought it was like only the sheet itself, but yeah, this is really good. This is really good, right? Um, I'm gonna wash them, you know, I'm gonna get them washed. So as you guys can see. So thank you so much, Miss Cohen, right? She's also on the live, you know, do appreciate these. I also have this one here, it's very pretty. I won't pull it out since you guys already saw the last one, right? I won't pull it out, you know, but like, yeah, it's really pretty, if you guys can see. All right, so yeah, these are some really nice sheet sets. You know, um, the last one that I have here will be this one. This is a nice color. I love this one as well. Um, I don't think it's, I don't, I wouldn't, I, I would say it has a, like a creamish look to it. Yeah, I would say it has a, a creamish look. Uh, let me see if I have like the exact color name for it on it. Hmm. 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 But it looks like creamish look. Here. Alright, so, um, thank you so much. Let me show you guys really good. Okay, great. So, that's it, um, for that. I also got a, um, I also got a, I think it's like a, something to keep me warm in the winter. So I'm going to show you guys this, that as well. Yeah, I did my hair, so yeah, I find it much better now. All right, let me show you guys the other thing I got. Hold on. I also got this here, right? Um, it is some heavy sheet. It's, it's very thick, right? You know, um, it's very, very, very thick, you know. Very very sick here. Um, hmm. Yeah, I won't pull it out, right? I won't pull it out, but yeah, it's, it's actually gonna keep me really warm in the winter, so that's very good. You know, thank you again, Miss Cohen, for these. You know, they're really very thoughtful. So yeah, thank you a lot. Appreciate you. All right, so that's it as far as this is concerned. Uh, let me put these guys over here and this one as well. One second, guys. Let me just uh, put these over here. All right. So I'm gonna be showing you guys the um, the room, right? I'm gonna show you guys the room. I'm gonna also um, show you guys how I've dealt with the place thus far, right? Let's get up. Let's get up to 200 likes, guys. We're now at 173. All right, let's get the 200 likes. I'm gonna show you guys what leave the place. All right, but first let's get up, let's get up to 200 or even more because it's like 346. That's on right now. Um, all right, all right. Let me. Yeah. Okay. So I'm seeing someone in the comments saying that you know they're also in the process of moving. You know they got their bed and mattress. All right. Yeah. Yeah. You have to get some time for it to come up. You know, otherwise it's gonna be pretty flat. And uh, good luck to you, Miss Val McGill, on moving. And it's, it's it's a very tiring process, honestly, right? And I'm hoping to be here at this place for a very long while, you know, because having to move again, you know, I, I want the next time I'm moving from here, it's like into my own apartment, you know? Yeah, so because it's, it's 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 really tiring to be moving. It is, it on it, honestly it is, right? But um, got it done. I'm gonna show you guys what the place looks like right now. You know, I see we're at 208 likes, you know? So um, let's, let's go. All right, so let's, let me show you guys where should we start. So I'm not sure if you guys remember what the light over here looked like, but um, if you look, uh, let me see. Let's stay from this side. If you look right now, and if you look over there, you know, it's pretty clear. Uh, the other day, it had like pure bags. You know, it was just a mess. It was all over the place. You know, I had to take some time out to actually clear the place. If you look over here as well, you can realize not many things. These are just my books and my laptop that I was using this morning while reading. So, you know, it's pretty nice when compared to the other day. 
you know. So there we go. And like, it takes a lot of energy to do this, honestly, like lots of energy. You know, I, I even have over here cleared out. Like over here is now cleared out. So nothing is in the chairs no more. You know, so that's amazing. Right. Um, if you guys look over here in the kitchen side, all right, the kitchen is also cleared up. That box came in today, so that's the reason why it's there. Um, let me bring this down a bit. Right, so that box came down. That's the reason why that is there. I'm not finished in terms of like packing up the boxes as yet, but I will be soon. Right, there's like a lots of box here that I need to go and like break in small pieces and then you know bring them down and have them emptied out. But I'm gonna do that as soon as I come back from Walmart, right? But I'm gonna need your guys' help, you know. I'm gonna need your help in figuring out what I'm gonna need for my room. I have I myself have a few personal items, you know, that I see as necessary, but I'm also gonna need your suggestions and unlike you know things that could be a great addition right um as i said earlier i don't want to have too much things that's going to make the room look too crowded i just want to keep it you know clean and simple and you know nice all right so yeah when, when we go to the room you know i'm going to show you guys what it's like right now you know so yeah so um um if you guys look here i pretty much got um plates washed and stuff Right, currently, I have to put it on the cloth. It's on the cloth right here. If you guys can see, it's on the cloth. Everything is on the cloth, right? The reason being, I don't have the dish drainer as yet, but, but that will be coming in over the weekend. I'll be getting that over the weekend, right? So um, I'm gonna get a dish drainer, you know, put it right there. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna have things to be able to put the plates and stuff on so whenever they're washed, right? So yeah. Um, that's it for that there, right? Plates are clean and looking good. If you guys look on the table, let me show you guys the table. It's pretty much all cleared off. This is just the keys and uh, a device right there for the tripod that I have, right? So the table is all cleaned off, you know? The table is all clean here. If you guys look on the place from this angle, you guys can see no more, you know, no more bags, bags all over the place. If you guys look here as well, you know, um, nothing much. So yeah, it's, it's pretty clean right now. It's looking really great. The stuffs are packed away, right? If I open here, you know, the stuffs are pretty much packed away right now. I think this is an empty milk, so I'm gonna throw it out. Right, so the stuffs are packed away. And, uh, um, we have a dish tray that goes over the sink that goes over the sink over the sink wait hold on do we have a dish tray like that? well I'm, 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 I'm gonna i'm gonna see what they have there but like i think i'll be getting one this weekend i'm gonna recheck all right i'm gonna recheck what kind of dish tray i'm getting right so i'm gonna reach on that now the main thing that i really wanted to show you guys right now is the room right i know you guys have been waiting to see the room right um i know you guys have been waiting i'm gonna show you guys but first let's get up to 300 likes so 300 likes we're gonna be going into the room um it's looking really nice right and uh, um we have about 429 persons on the live right now so do let's get to 300 likes we're gonna go in the room you know and um yeah let me see what you guys are saying in the comments. Hmm. Hold on. Let me see what you guys are saying. Let me read what you guys are saying. Okay, so it should be someone. Okay, okay. no, no, I understand. Okay, okay, no, I understand. Okay, because like when they said like you know over the sink, I talked them it's like literally over the sink. But guys, let's like up the live because the next stop is gonna be in the room and then. Wow, it's a it's a pretty day now in Edmonton. Wow. Oh, let me show you guys. Hold on. It's a really nice day in Edmonton right now. Wow. 
So yes, guys, let us do get to 300 likes. Um, we're going to go by the room next. All right, I'm going to show you guys what it's like there. I'm going to also need a few suggestions on things that would be a great addition, as I was saying earlier. All right, so yeah. It's almost winter time. Can you believe it? It's almost winter. Can you believe? I wonder what it's going to look like in the winter. I really wonder. What is it going to look like in the winter time? You know, like all this, you know? What is it going to look like? You guys like the view? Yeah, I do too. I like it as well. We're almost at 300 likes, guys. We're at 287 right now. All right, yeah, I'm trying to brace myself for the winter. Um, I believe it's going to be a very tough one. You know? I don't think I'm going to be able to come out here either. Like, oh, even right here where I'm standing right now, it's going to be really cold. You know? Someone asked if I left space for my roommate. Yeah, I did. Um, so, I'm going to show you guys as well. Right? So I'm going to show you guys as well. I'm going to show you guys the space that's there for my roommate. You know, uh, Miss Cohen asked if I received the food storage balls. Yes, that's the one I forgot to show. I'm going to also show you guys the balls that I got. So I won't have to buy any plates right now because I have a few balls that were sent by Miss Cohen. You know, so I'm going to show you guys that as well. Right, but yeah, it's a really good view from here. It's a really great view from here, guys. Um, so let me show you guys. If we go even above here. So we, they are even building right now as we speak. You know, like building constructions, everything is going on right now. So yeah. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the additional stuff. Thanks for reminding me about that, Miss Winifred. Right? Um, I'm gonna show you guys the stuff here. So like, you know, the plastic plates weren't working out, right? The plastic plate wasn't working out. Um, as it pertains to, all right, let me, let, let, let me show you guys this before I go on to anything else. All right, there's so many stuff to speak on in the comments. So I got majority of these balls, which is good, right? I got, major I got majority of these balls. Um, here are some more. I wash them, you know, when I got them, I just, you know, wash them. So I, you know, thanks Miss Winnie Fred and Miss Cohen, you know, for getting these as well. Um, I have, I have some more in the box that I haven't washed as yet, but I'm going to also get those washed up, right? So, um, that's that for these. Let me you know, be careful in putting them back. All right. Um... What I'm gonna do now, all right, so let me show you guys here. We're gonna go by the room very soon. So um, look at the amount of boxes that I have. Like guys, can you believe this? Look at the amount of boxes. Look at this. I'm gonna have to, you know, tear up all these boxes, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get rid of all these boxes here, guys. It's, it's lots of boxes. It's a box galore. Like, wow. Wow. All right. So let's get into the, the, you know, the real part of this, you know, uh, live. Um, I'm going to show you guys the room right now. You know, we have hit the 300 light mark. So guys, remember, tell me. What great addition would be good for the room? Note number one, I don't want it to be jumbled and you know 
like everything is all over the place it's too much right so um yeah that's the first thing uh second thing um i think that's the only thing actually yeah i think that's the only thing but yeah are you guys ready okay are you guys ready so let us go inside the room are you, do you guys want to see the room i also set up the mattress thank god i was able to have some sense and i was you know successful in setting up the mattress so do you guys do you guys want to see the room now I think that should be the best part in seeing the room. Yeah, that should be the best part. Let me know if you guys want to see the room. I have the, the stuff set up. You know, um, I have the um, I have pretty much everything set up. You guys are gonna be able to see like a clearer picture of what the room is looking like. You know, so yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get the boxes out as soon as possible. I'm gonna get them out. Like even today, I'm gonna to actually do it tonight. I'm gonna to get them out. Um, so the glasses were actually not something that I bought for myself, I, it was actually donated, right? So, yeah, uh, Miss Cohen got those for me actually. Um, full all four box, all parts, yeah, and get strings in time for recycling. Okay, you can recycle boxes, that might be a very long process, but um, I was planning to like take them apart, you know. So, um, yeah, all right, so let's go to the room now, guys. Can you guys see that from here? Can you guys see that? Yeah, so I haven't even entered the room as yet. It looks really good, I know. The, the, the street spread that you guys helped me choose that chose at Walmart, right? That sheet spread that you guys helped me, you know? Yeah. Um, is my roommate going to be in? No, there is an next room. There is an next room around the corner right here. So like, if you go here, and go here, that's the next room there. So um, yeah, that's that's where my roommate will have to be. Um, yeah, I will have to move the bed from the heater, I guess. You know, when it comes on to the winter time, because I heard it's gonna get probably washed. Uh, I mean, it's really hot. So I might do that. So yeah, let's get let's step inside the room now. So if you guys look, Miss Winifred again, yes, yeah, so Miss Cohen. I actually had lots of stuffs <laughs> that came from Miss Cohen. So Miss Cohen got me this study table, which is gonna be very useful. Uh, let me show you guys really good. So Miss Cohen got me this study table here, right? Um, it has a side pocket to it where I can put like pens, anything inside here. You know, so the only thing I'm gonna actually get at Walmart for this year is a, a chair, right? So I'm gonna get a, a chair here, right? A nice relaxing chair where you can sit and you know do my reading what i also need from walmart let me bring the light down to this side so you guys can also see the bed uh can you guys see the bed uh, or let me hold it up maybe like this all right so that's from this side uh hold on so yeah so that's a, probably a be gonna be a better image of the bed here so the bed looks really good um the, the mattress fits on well with the um frame as you guys can see it fit really really well right so that was good fits really good you guys can see here so that's amazing and the comforter just sits right over it you know so yeah all right so with that said guys let me just show you guys quickly what the space in the room looks like. Uh, maybe I should come from this side. All right, so the space in the room. So I'm gonna highlight the space in the room. So if you guys look from this end, right, you guys can see that yes, there is space between my study table and my bed, but you know, a chair is gonna be there, right? A chair is gonna be there. I soon respond to all the comments. Just give me a second, let me just show you guys first what it's like here. But a chair is gonna be there. I'm gonna have this side here, like this side here. You know, when I move away from the study table, I'm gonna have a lot of walking space right here. I'm not gonna put anything right here. But where I want to put things, guys, right? Where I want to put things would definitely be down here, beside the the space where I have beside the bed. So if you realize, I have some space beside the bed. I would like, I would love to put a few things right in this other space, maybe over to the corner, 
right? If you realize the fan, the fan guys is giving some problem, you know, um, with the foot part now, with the foot part, it, it, it's like the screws and specifically this screw right here, right? It won't come out. Like I've tried so hard to take this screw out. Like every other screw comes out except this screw right here. So because it won't come out, the fan has to be leaned up, right? And it's the only one that's giving you a problem because without this screw, the fan just keep on falling. All right, so um, I'm gonna put it back in the corner. Uh, okay, so now that I've shown you guys, you know, the space, the final thing I'm gonna show you guys, then I'm gonna come to the comments to see what you guys are saying. So the final thing is, the worst part of the room, here. So I have some things down here that I'm gonna have to pack out and like, you know, keep putting on the hangers. All right, but for the most part, for the most part rather, it's actually a big improvement from when I just came, right? So, I mean, it's, it's going. I'm gonna, you know, um, kind of try to clean up in here as best as possible and put away a few things. Now, with this said, I need some draw. That's something I need. All right, so let me, let me just uh, sit now. All right. All right, so let me read the comments though. Okay, because I wasn't able to pay attention to the comments, right? All right. All right, so let's go now, guys. Um, the comments. Okay. Good night to those who are just joining. Do like the live as you join. Let's get up to 400 likes, right? So about the fan now, yeah, if I can take back the fan. That's a good question. I haven't thought about bringing it back. Right, I'm gonna try to do that, but guess what, guys? I don't, I don't even, I don't think I even have the receipts. What I might do, in the, I have the box. I still have the box, right? All right, I have the box, right? So yeah, I do have the box. One second, guys. I'm gonna get a pen and paper to write all of these down. One second. All right, guys, so as you can see, I have the book here. I have the book, right? I have the book. I'm gonna, you know, take um, the, down the thing that I'm gonna need. So like, you know, things needed or rather items needed. All right. So definitely first one is gonna be um, the drawers. The, I mean, the, 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 the I'm going to need some of those to put my clothes inside, right? All right. All right, so yeah, a mirror would be a good option. A mirror, uh, uh, Chester drawers, well, that would be amazing. Maybe the plastic ones, so it wouldn't be too expensive. Um, let me see. All right, so let me also put a few suggestions from you guys. So I'm gonna make a separate uh, part on the book. So uh, the items and suggestions, right? Um, a few persons said to uh, move the bed from the heater. The bed from the heater, which is also a good recommendation, but I mean, it's not winter as yet, so the heater isn't on right now. So um, yeah, whenever it's close to that side, I'm gonna have to think about where I'm gonna move the bed to because this was the most suitable place to place the bed, right? Um, my next thing is to return the fan. I'm gonna have to return the fan, but like, can I return it 